Here we are. My van's been at the dealers for almost three weeks. They fixed the torn seat, but we're still waiting to see what's happening with the leaky pop top from Auto Trail. But they're bringing me van back now, and then they'll get back to me when they know what's happening with the pop top. So I'm sat in the car waiting for them. So here's the van all brought back to me. Let's get in and have a little look. There. Well, as we know, there was a tear on the seat, getting a bit of reflection there. But there was a tear on the seat that was fixed. I can't exactly remember where it was, might be around here. I don't know what they've done to repair it. Maybe they replaced that pattern, that panel there. I reckon they replaced that bit of material there. The stitching's a bit wide there, but pfft, you know, that's me being fussy. Stitching is a bit wide there, could have been stitched a bit tighter. But, I don't know what that is. That's just a line in it, I think. A little bit of stray cotton there needs whipping off. Hey, I'm fussy, but 54 grand, you need to be fussy. Look at that. Well, there's no tear on it, so that's something, isn't it? So that's the seat fixed anyway. They've had it for almost three weeks, but the, the seat's fixed. Now, obviously, there was a big delay because they were waiting on auto trail to get back to them. And Auto Trail still haven't got back to them how they're going to fix the pop top. So I basically asked for it to be brought back. And when they know what's happening, let me know. And then they can have it again, whether it takes a week, two weeks, three weeks, or even at the end of the summer. I don't care. Now, there's a site that we don't see very often because um, before the van went away, I um, cleared all the bed out, put it away because we always leave the bed made up because that's how me and Jackie have it as soon as we've got a front dinette seating area. So I'm going to put that back into a bed, get all the bedding out, laid out, and it'll all be ready for us to enjoy again. So we haven't had William for almost three weeks and we're going to celebrate. We didn't get to go out into him until about, I don't know, about five o'clock, six o'clock or something like that. So we're going to celebrate by having some McDonald's. And Daisy's got, I bought a triple cheeseburger. I took two of the burgers out, broke them up, put them in there with a chicken nugget. So that's what she's having. Well, we've had our McDonald's and we thought we'd go for a little drive, go and park up on the moors, have a cup of tea in the van. And on the way... Coming up the A main A386 towards um, Yelvey Rock. Didn't look good. There was a car right in the hedge, oncoming in the hedge on the opposite side of the road. There was going back up a little bit. There was glass everywhere. So much glass on the road. And then there was loads of cars parked up on the grass verge. Obviously, I was driving, so I couldn't really look too much. But uh, yeah, didn't look very nice. I hope nobody was injured. I hope it's more mess than uh you know than anything else but we've got to try and check on the news in a minute just to see if there's any updates because obviously we've got to go back that way so yeah hope everybody involved is okay you know you can put up with broken headlights they go everywhere when the headlights go you can put up with things like uh, damage to the vehicles but hopefully everybody in the car is okay Oh, me petrol light, sir. <laughs> Not me petrol, me diesel light, come on. I mean, he, you know, he was on a quarter of a tank when the garage took it away three weeks ago. I thought, no point putting any diesel in. And then when he brought it, when it come back today, it was just under a quarter. And I thought, well, I'm not going to, I'm going to let it get down a little bit further and I can fill it right up because we're only bumbling around today. We're not, not as if we're going anywhere. Um, but then while I was driving back from my daughter's on the way to get a little bit of McDonald's, the light come on and I uh, pressed me little button there and it said we've got 54 miles, 54 miles left in the tank. I thought, well, it's going to take me about here, yeah, probably about three miles to get to where I'm going and maybe four miles and then another four back, that's eight. Get to go to the petrol station. So I won't be doing no more than 10 miles and then I can fill my diesel tank up on the way home. Of course, you all know what's been happening with my van obviously it went back to the uh went back to the dealers i had that rip in the seat which they fixed that that's all done um but as for the pop top they're just waiting to hear what auto trail auto trail what they recommend whether they're gonna allow the dealership to actually seal it from the outside with some silicone or whether the van will have to go back to the um to the you know to the main factory back in grimsby i don't know what they'll do they'll take the pop top off and reseal it that'll be a major job i mean i'm assuming all the bolts and that go through the ceiling so they'll have to drop the head line and possibly drop the cupboards it could be an absolute nightmare but if they can seal it just as good from the outside somehow then you know that'll be fine 
So there's not a lot to say, really. I mean, you know, we haven't had the van for three weeks. I think was it Monday last, a couple of weeks ago. A couple of weeks ago, I had that um, that competition in the blues bar on the Barbican. It went brilliantly. I didn't really want to do it. I was kind of breaking myself as well. But it went brilliantly. Um, the four people in my heat was three girls and myself. Um, unfortunately, I never went through to the, to the next level. Um, I came third out of fourth. The the first and the second person went through to the to the next one. I came third and there was a young lady who came um, after me. But I'll tell you what, though. I mean, they were all absolutely brilliant. They really, really, really were. They were very, very, very good. Um, but I was the loudest <laughs> and I was the last one up on stage as well. Um, they, like I say, they spun like a little roulette wheel to see which order we'd go on. And I got to go last and uh, I started off the set with a bit of Elvis, a bit of Steamroller Blues, nice and loud. Good, God. Good, God. Thank you very much, God. What an amazing evening we've had this evening. I mean, these girls, they, I just as well walk. I mean, these girls have been absolutely bloody amazing. I've heard that the whole talent is, is classed on, like, you, you know, your, your banter and your, your stage prints and everything like that. So, basically, I'll tell you the story of my life. I've got one song at the end of it. It all started in 1970, so you know. I've got a song at the end, so don't worry. Well, maybe I can just stop talking absolute dribble and get a blink of music on the go. We're going to start, I love Elvis, we're going to start off with an Elvis one called Steamroller Blues. I'm a steamroller, baby. It's all about to roll all over you. I finished it off with New York, New York. I don't think you've ever heard it sang like that. You know, Frank Sinatra does it. You know, this was sang, this was sang loud. I sang it loud and everybody was up and everybody was dancing. And it was quite fitting, really, because it was the end of the night. It was the biggest, loudest song of the evening and it was the last one on there, so... I think, I mean, <clears throat> one of the ladies, the lady who organised it, she said that, you know, it was very tight. The three of us, one, two, three, was very tight. There was like a point between us or something like that. Um, but the girls that went through, they were good. One of them was like th theatre trained. She was really, really good. And um, another one, well, I'm assuming, I think she was theatre trained. You know, she had a lot of that sort of like training behind her as far as I'm concerned and another lady she'd been singing in pubs and clubs for over 20 years on a regular basis and she was you know she was very very competent with it um <clears throat> but needless to say you know ah uh, well what can I say you know I didn't go through but I think I put on a blinking good show and everyone who came to sort of like support me um and everyone I spoke to they said that I you know I'll rock the place so so that's always a you know that, that's a good thing isn't it Yeah, so we come across where the accident was. The police have now closed the road. So we've got to go down the old dreaded lane. So um, um, we've had to take a left down towards, I don't know, is this heading towards the Skylark? Might be the Skylark turning, I'm not sure. Then there's a right here where we can turn a right towards Bickley. And then at Bickley, we can come back up onto the main road. I'm just hoping that all the lanes are suitable for my little van and nothing stupid going on. So we'll soon find out. They'd give it up so to spend the night, look. Mm. That's the way to do it. And it says turn right, what, here? I said to, I said to the police lady, what are the lanes like? Know where I'm going to get stuck? She says, I don't know, I've never been down there. And we've got city lights ahead of us, so we're going in the right direction. So when you see grass down the centre of the road, that's when you know you've got problems. All being well. Where we are, no road signs, no nothing. Oh, shit. So it's just oh, you can't no. see around these bends, can you? Oh, bloody hell. Oh, oh, this no. is getting stupid. Oh. But if we make it one pace, at least we know we can fit and we can come down again for fun. No. Yay! 
And there's the right hand turn, that's got to be the road going down to Bickley. Oh my lord, wait, all clear to the left. Oh my god. Pan. Yeah, mm, no to the right. So. Hope so. Oh, there's a big bright light there. What was that? That's got. Oh, come that's on. Scary. That all oh, barbed wire. There we go. That's Bickley. That's the army band oh, the base, the commando go base. Go on, film it. There we go. That's Bickley Commando Base. I think they're called commandos. I was literally shit in my pants there. Then we're up and we're back on the main road. <laughs> I'd We're never... back on the road again. Why us? Well, we've had a bit of excitement, wasn't it? I don't need the excitement, thanks. <laughs> we made hell. it out. We made it out. I think the police lady said to us, turn right and turn right again. So we turned right and turned right again. And then we come out of that one. And we didn't really know where to go. And I went right because I just assumed, yeah, we'll do right again. But for some reason, we had to do a left. Um, so we went so far, turned around, went back the other way, and we made it back up onto the main road. So didn't get stuck. I think we saw a, a road sign when we were going, and it said seven foot wide. And I thought, oh, that's getting a bit narrow. That's when we turned around. So let's go and get some petrol now, or diesel. I keep saying petrol. I don't want petrol. I want diesel. We pulled over briefly as Jackie saw a lovely, um, I don't know what you call them, a pack of deer, a herd of deer, a flock of deer, but they're all standing by the side of the road on the grass. They look really pretty. Good morning. Just popped up to check on me van. It's all right. <laughs> He's parked up on me street. Look, not a, not a bad old view out the window, you know, a fair bit of greenery there, looking out over the roofs of the houses. But just sort of pop up, check on William. I've been up since, I don't know what time it is now, just about quarter past seven. Been up since just before six, had a cup of tea with Daisy. Just been watching videos on Facebook, or musical videos really, about um, a guy called Andy Marshall, um, a local singer. And he sings a lot of Frank Sinatra stuff and that, and he's bloody good he is. He's really good, so I've been watching a few of his videos. Just popped up to the van, had a look at him. He's looking all right. <laughs> We're working for a few days, so we won't be able to play with them until Sunday, maybe Saturday night. Gonna go down any minute, make Jackie a cup of tea, because I heard her bumbling around in the shower before I come up. Like I said, it's just nice to be back in the van after it was with the dealers for almost three weeks. Whenever we're not using it, I like to try and keep the toilet door and the fridge door open just to get rid of any, well, not so much to get rid of any smells, for, just for a bit of ventilation. We finished work for the day and we um, plated up some meals into some foil trays before we left work, got it all ready. So we're gonna go and park the van somewhere for the evening. Not all night, we'll probably come home about 10, 11 o'clock and uh, chuck our dinners in the oven. Um, just enjoy the, wow, it's a lovely spring evening now, isn't it? I mean, it's not raining, there's a bit of sunshine, there's a fair bit of cloud, but it's sort of like that white cloud where the sun shines through it. So we're gonna make the most of that for as long as we can. First thing we got to do is turn this bleeding van around. Watch his nose. Oh. Watch his nose. Can you look out oh, the window? Yeah. There, I'm clear. Don't want to be hitting nothing. Especially, what is that? It's a jag. <laughs> I don't want to be hitting this jag. He won't be happy with that. Reverse back. Oh, I'm glad I haven't got a bloody meter, <laughs> a meter and a half overhang on the back of this van because uh, I was up against the curb there and I wouldn't want back of my van to hit the wall on the other side of the car. Here we go. Here we go, here we go. And we're rolling. Whoa, look at the traffic on the other side of the road. 
I am so glad I'm not going that way. Well, I've got a bit of a tail back here. I actually want the left-hand lane, but then I'm getting in a right-hand lane, so I generally stay in this one, because then that'll just filter to the left, but stay in the right. I know what I'm talking about. Jordan, but it, well, we're moving down. We're moving down. I stayed in this lane and it filtered over to the left and there, you can see exactly where I'm going there. Blooming traffic. I don't like traffic. It's too busy. Let's get through these lights. And we're rolling again. I'm going around this roundabout, heading up towards, I don't know, it heads up to the bottom before the valley in Novorossix, 6 and then that takes us as a back road, getting up onto the main road to the moors. How's little Jackie? Looking forward to your meal on the moors? Of course. I'm excited because we obviously we didn't have the van for almost three weeks and we got the um the daylight dragging out into the evenings now until about nine, well gone nine o'clock. It was it was daylight yesterday. So that's absolutely brilliant. We got our van back, we got a little bit of extra daylight, so we can make the most of it and enjoy it. God, what's the time here? We'd almost we'd be sat at home waiting for the tea to cook, then we'd be eating our tea at home with a bit of I don't know, EastEnders or something. Yeah. And then I'd be falling asleep, and then we'd be like, oh, well, it's eight o'clock, let's just go upstairs and go bed <laughs> and play on our iPads until midnight or something. Sounds, Sounds like a plan. Oh, we need to put our on. oh, we're back at that place where we were the other night where we saw all the deers. We always get lots of wild deers around these roundabouts in this area, heading down towards Plimbridge, where we're just passing it now. But on the way home the other night, Jackie, you got some shots in there, didn't you, Jack? Got some yeah. shots of the deers. The dear little deers. Right, so what have we been doing today? Well, obviously we went to work, had to get into work to earn some money to pay for the, pay for the camper van and all our days off that we don't have enough of. So we went into work, we had um, a few big buckings this afternoon, all for afternoon tea. So I had to uh, make all this, I always like to make all the sandwiches in preparation for the afternoon teas. I got me all my own made cakes and scones on standby. I also was running low, well I ran out of cheese scones, so I had to make a batch of cheese scones. Oh, and then I haven't done a little video on Facebook at, at work for a long time. I, you know, quite often I'll like do a little video saying, morning from Daisy's Tea Rooms and Coffee Shop. This is us, this is what we're doing, this is what we're up to, you know. Anyway, I'm gonna put that one in now so you can have a look at that. And this is what we were doing in work today. A very good morning to you all from me, Carl, at Daisy's Tea Rooms and Coffee Shop. We've had a lot of um, new people following our page, so I thought I'd give you a little update or a little info as to who and what we are. Well, I'm Carl. I run it with my beautiful wife, Jackie, who's hiding down there. She don't really like to be on camera. And our gorgeous dog, Daisy. Where's Daisy? Let's spin you around on Daisy. Look. Oh, there she is. She's the managing director. <laughs> We like to think it's us, but it's actually Daisy. So what we do in our tea rooms here is we do, well, we do lots and lots of afternoon teas. They're like a firm favorite. They're good if you want baby showers, if you want hen parties. Uh, we've done stag do's where, you know, a more sort of like, a more refined stag do where gentlemen have come and they've sat here and they've had a bite to eat, maybe on a Sunday with a Sunday roast or something. They've had plenty of beer and things like that. Um, and then they've gone, gone on their travels afterwards. Um, we do, like I said, we've got lots of cooked meals. We got um, plenty of homemade scones, cheese scones, fruit scones, plain scones, gluten-free, gluten-free fruit scones. We've always got at least one gluten-free cake on the counter. I make homemade cakes. Obviously, I said we do Sunday roasts. We've got a wide variety on the menu, including, we got our, what's our, what's our special at the moment? Gammon, egg, chips, beans or peas and pineapple for only 11 pound. So that's our special at the moment. We do lots of um, bacon baps, sausage baps, breakfast, liver of bacon and onion gravy, scampi, chicken nuggets and chips, sausages and chips, anything in chips. Anything we got, we can stick it with you. You can have cake and chips as well if you want. Uh, what other meals do we do? Have I missed anything, Jackie? I she weren't listening. I said the scampi, I said, oh, fish and chips, fish, chips, mushy peas. We got all sorts here, like I said, lots of cakes, Lots of scones, always available for, 
you know, if anybody wants to do like a hen party or a stag party or something, we have lots of evening events as well. You can see I've got my kit set up here because we've had a few of late where I do lots of singing as the singing chef. And I'm very good. Check out my videos. I, I don't normally unblow my own trumpet, <laughs> but I am pretty good at singing. Most people back me up on that one. So you have a look at our videos on Facebook. I do a lot. I do Elvis. I do Frank Sinatra, Neil Diamond. Oh my God almighty. I do a bit of rock. I do everything. So you go and take a look at all our previous videos and see what we do. Oh, we've got a country and western night coming up soon. That'll be a first, so I've got to learn lots of country music, which I haven't sang before. So we'll be doing the country music. I'll be wearing a Stetson, getting myself some cowboy boots, donning some imitation plastic guns or something. See if we can get a little bit of barn or line dancing done as well. So we've got quite a few tables sold for that one. And then two weeks after that, we got our annual um, an afternoon tea at sunset uh, with the singing chef. That's always good. That's lots of swing. That's mainly Frank Sinatra. I do a lot of Frank Sinatra. I've got to change my arm because it's about to fall off. So that'll be a, a lot of Frank Sinatra on that one. Um, like I say, the, the country and western one, that's in August, isn't it, Jack? Yeah. August the what? Can you remember? 24th. She thinks it's the 24th. Check on our page. You'll see it. And then two weeks later, we got the um, afternoon tea at sunset. With the, um, with the country and western one, we'll be having a lovely buffy for that one. We're going to be having, what are we having with that one? We're going to be having homemade chilli. We're going to have hot dogs. So if you want to put some of the chilli on, on the hot dogs, you can have that. If you want a bit of grated cheese on your chilli dogs, you can have that. We're going to have uh, lovely crispy roast, roast chicken portions. I like to use thighs because they, they're lovely and juicy. Uh, it's better than drumsticks. I'm not a big fan of drumsticks. So nice, crispy, juicy roasted thighs. Um, and then we're going to have, we'll have volivons and we'll have some sandwiches and we'll have all sorts of other things that you have with these sort of puffies. I can't think off the top of my head. But that's with the country and western one. Oh, chips as well. Obviously, I'm going to put a, put a load of chips down there to go with the chicken, loads of fries. So that's going to be a good one. And obviously, the afternoon tea at sunset is what it is. It's an afternoon tea at sunset with a selection of sandwiches, um, you got your plain or your, we generally put a plain and a fruit scone on each stand so you can scrap over them. And uh, cause generally each stand goes for two. And then we, I generally make my homemade, um, I call it an angel Victoria. Is it Victoria? No, I don't. It's not the angel Victoria. It's a nice sugar coated Victoria sandwich. It's jam and cream inside. Lovely coated, dusted with sugar on top. Absolutely beautiful. So, and it, that's what we do for our, for our afternoon tea at sunset with a singing chef. Anyway. Have a look at our videos, have a look at our events, see what you fancy. If not, just come in for a scone or a sandwich or a breakfast or a panini or even a Sunday roast. So that's basically me rabbiting on about what we got in work and what we're doing in work. That's three and a half minutes of your life you will never get back. Oh, I'm sorry. Now we're coming back onto the malls now, which is where we live. That's the Dartmoor Diner on the left there. And just coming up on the right up here, around here, that's where that horrible accident was. Last time we were heading up this way, if you can remember, we had to divert and uh, go around all the silly back lanes. <laughs> I was bricking myself in the van, absolutely bricking myself. Thought I'm gonna get stuck in some blinking stupid ump back bridge again. This turning on the right, I think that's where we turned off. That's where the police sent us, down there. But we made it back in one piece. Like I said, it's all about the adventure. There's Yogi Rob there on the right. I don't think you can see it because the camera's pointing towards the left. I'll, I'll try and show you it if I can. There's Yelvy Rock, a local landmark up here. I'm gonna go around here, I think, Jackie. Turn to the right. Let's see if I might be able to get close to the rock. I might have a little walk around there. We've got the old Nightstone tea rooms. We actually worked out there for a while, for about 10 minutes on the left there when Jackie's, when Jackie's brother was running the place. Should we go in here? Just go in here. It's as good as, once you're parked up, you'd be none the wiser. No, it's not, you'd be none the wiser. It's not popular. Oh, be lovely. You don't care, once we're parked up, you just lays on the bed playing with your iPad. I'm the one who's got to do all the work. I can reverse right back into that bit there. I think it's 
give you a nice little spot opposite the night stone. I like this spot today. I think that'll do me quite nicely. Now we're all parked up. What we've got to do is sort the van out, turn the gas on, turn the engine off, turn the engine off, then turn the gas on, get our dinners in the oven, and maybe take Daisy for a little stroll. Leave Jackie in the van on her own while I'm taking Daisy for a walk for 10 minutes. The oven, the dinner's only gonna take about 20 minutes to warm up, because everything was hot when I put it into the containers apart from the beans, and that was only about an hour ago and it's all wrapped up, so that won't take long to warm. Well, we got the kettle on the go and the dinners are in the oven. The oven's lit. I'm a bit worried about my, well, not worried so much. Me gas, I'm on my second gas bottle. And cause we like, haven't had the van for two, three weeks nearly. I'm not sure how much of it we've used, but at least we won't have to bother putting the heating on. So as long as I can boil a couple of kettles and, uh, you know, and warm me dinner up. That'll only take about 20, 25 minutes. If for any reason the gas runs out, I've got one of those emergency little camping stoves under one of the seats with those little like, aerosol can bottles. So I can always make a cuppa on that. But yeah, me dinner's in the oven. The kettle's boiling. That's Daisy's chicken there. I'll wait about 10 minutes and then just chuck it on top of, um, you know, our, our, our plated up meals in the oven just to warm through because she's fussy. She will need it cold. Come on then, Jay-Z, let's jump down, nip outside, stretch our legs, do a wee. That's right, wee -hee. Let's go have a wee somewhere. Hang on, let me shut that, because mummy gets cold. Come on, as we go over there, look. Well, here's where we pitched up for the time being. Not a bad little spot. Nice and kind of semi-isolated, but we didn't have to travel too far to get here. Daisy. Go and have a wee-wee or something. Go and have a wee-wee. Go and have a wee-wee. What a good girl. Now, I wonder what Jackie's up to. What's she doing in there? She should be hoovering and dusting and things like that. What's she doing playing a puzzle book? She's had to resort to playing her puzzle book because I've not let her connect to my internet because I'm using my phone. Look at what we got here outside our van, look. Beautiful little dark, dark moor pony, look at that, look. I won't open the dogs, it might frighten them away, or her. I think it's a little girl, actually. But they got, she got to be careful what grass she's eating, because I know Daisy had a wee some, somewhere there on the right of her. <laughs> I'm sure she'll avoid that spot. Where is Daisy? Did you have a wee on that pony's grass? If it's sick, it's your fault, Daisy. Daisy. What's out there, Jack? Oh, what is it? it lamb. Oh, I love lamb. Oh, Daisy. Yes. Daisy had lamb. I can't. Oh, you call your crap here. I can't even get close. What's that? Look. Oh. That's, that's the mummy with her baby amazing. lambs. They cute, isn't they? Oh. They cute. Look at that. Look. See, Dartmoor. What a beautiful place. Not much oh, there's another one there. I wonder if that's Daddy. Where? Well, there, look. Look, look. Or they might have a lamb each. Oh. <laughs> oh. Great. Beautiful. This has like, been the, the best spot. See, and you was moaning. Apart from the fact that we've got company. I love lamb. These are beautiful. Makes you just think, oh. you could never eat them, you know what I mean? Oh, oh, I just jumped off the like bloody wall. You could never eat them, really, couldn't you? If they were wrapped up like that in the supermarket, no. you'd, you'd never eat them. Tiny Gorgeous little things. things. Beautiful little family oh. day out, isn't it? I reckon that's two mums with two lambs. Look how they jump. Because I, I can't see any horns on them, so it's obviously two mums with two lambs. Look how they jump. I know. Oh, let's have a look from the other end. That's oh, there they are. And it was free. I know. People pay a fortune to go to the zoo. And you've got all these beautiful furry animals. Oh. And Daisy. She's a furry. Daisy, are you a furry animal? Are you a Daisy? Daisy, are you a lamb? Oh, yeah. <laughs> 
It's lovely. That's lovely. Oh. Whoa, look at that. Wee! Oh, they're so cute. They're jumping, aren't they? The thing is, when we have roast lamb, we don't eat those big old sheep. Yeah. We don't eat the big old sheep. We eat those little oh. babies, look. <laughs> I know, I know, that's horrible, eating those things. Oh, I want to be a vegan. They're quite playful, aren't they? Yeah. Very nice. I never realised that the sheep had like a personality. If I open the door, the noise would just scare them off. They're coming up this end again now. never realised sheep had quite a personality. Show me your smile. Oh, look at Daddy. I can't look at Daddy. That sounds wrong. <laughs> look at Daddy. Does da da Jackie? Look at Daddy. Daddy's not a name. Daddy's a rank. That's my rank, and your rank is Mum. Well, why don't you behave yourself then? I'm always a good boy. Feeds you. Feeds you too much. Oh, thank you, Paul. <laughs> Piss off. I'm going. I got them out of the oven, absolutely red hot. The gas, I think the, the gas obviously was quite low. I think it, the pressure was low because the flame wasn't very big at the back of the oven. So I left it on a little bit longer than I normally would. But no, I accidentally touched the foil with my thumb and it burnt me thumb. So they're going to be hot enough. And Daisy's chicken is looking nice and browned as well. Right, let's get these lids off and see how hot they are. That one's got mum on it, so it's not mine. Oh, look at all that steam. Steam is always a good sign. Beans looked a little bit dry, so <laughs> maybe I didn't have to leave them in quite so long. And I got steam on that one as well. That looks beautiful. Chicken, chips, onion rings. I've got sausages in mine because I always have sausages and I've got one for Daisy as well. So we're going to enjoy that. Oh, you waiting, Daisy? You waiting for yours? It's all warmed up. It's all served up. We know the agenda now. We've got to make sure we get as much of that as we can in there. Then we'll have happy tummies. And Daisy, she's going to get as much as that down her gut. Oh, and I've got her a sausage in there as well. So she'll have an happy tummy. She's already had a portion of lamb in work this afternoon. But without burning our mouths. Without burning our mouths. <laughs> I've got the hiccups and they sound ridiculous. I've just done about 12 of them. Maybe talking will stop them. Chance to be a fine thing. Honestly. Maybe all I needed to do was talk. You're good at that. I'm good at talking. Go gonna... talk. Well, I'm going to keep this on me for a minute. And if I edit, no, if I hiccup, up, then I'll cut it in. But I won't have all the banter. Just a little bit of banter and me hiccup in. Go on, hiccup. Oh, I can't at the moment. My arm is really bad. I've, I've pulled my arm somehow, <laughs> somewhere, somebody. Done, uh, done something to my arm. I'm not going to wake up, am I? No, you just passed it to me. I just passed it. Oh, you, 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 you sounded like a dying cow. <laughs> <laughs> Are you breathing, Jackie? No, it's the This dog. stupid dog here, right? She's got roast chicken down there and a the sausage, but she's refusing to eat it because she wants our roast chicken that's coated with sage and yeah. garlic and pepper so spoiled. and other things. Well, she's not getting ours. What I'll do oh. is when we're finished, I'm going to chuck her dinner in our bowl and give it a good old roll around. You're a bit of a breather, aren't you, Daisy? Daisy, mouth breather. It's called spoiled brat syndrome. Mouth breather. Have a tic tac. <laughs> well, that certainly sorted out my hiccups, did it, Jack? That's great. That's it. We're off. What's the time here? Seven minutes past ten. I think we've made the most of it this evening. We've uh, enjoyed our meal. We chilled out a bit. Had a little lay down at the back with Daisy and with Daisy and Jackie. To be honest, I was lying down with Daisy. And Jackie was playing on her iPad, but we had a lovely relaxing time and we're going to turn around and drive back home now. Chill out for maybe an hour once we get home with a cup of tea before we go bed as we got work tomorrow.